We've got a load of your fans on social media that have sent in some questions for you. Shall we have a look at the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he is. Jimmy Bullard. Who was the scariest player you've ever come against? Scariest player you ever played against? That was from Scary. Owen Lee. He looked quite uh, scary in that one, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Don't be horrible, I know him. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Big Duncan Ferguson. I bet if you go on YouTube, there's a yeah. clip of me um, where it's a, I'm a bit of an unwary look about him, but yeah. um, basically he offered me out on the pitch and I said, no, you're all right. He's <laughs> <laughs> a famous shot of you just looking yeah. up to, isn't it? No, he's rock hard, isn't he? Yeah, you but, are. Um, you are yeah, I've got a little bit, but he's massive as well. Okay. But yeah, he was the scariest. Ferguson is. Let's have a look at the second question. Hey, Jimmy! Jimmy Bullard! <laughs> it's Cheeky Sport Joe! Hey, Jimmy, I've got a quick question, man. I want to know, what is the best prank you've ever played on someone? Let me know. By the way, Smithy, Laws, love ya. <laughs> hey, Cheeky good. Sport Joel. I like right. him. Best prank, keep it clean, because you've played a lot of pranks yeah, on a lot of people. I know, I've got to think of a clean one. We had a young boy, TJ Moncur, he's only 19 years of age. He come in with, like, remember the Peugeot 306 with the roofs off? Oh, great car. It was a lovely yeah. car. Um, not for long, though, because I had a bad leg, and he, while they were out training, I filled it up with water. But at the time, I was filling it up with water, he got in it, and it wouldn't start, because I put that much in it. But what I didn't know, the CCTV camera was right on me. So, cool, so yeah. yeah, like, double banjoed myself, and he's gone in there, and I'm still trying to get out of it. I'm like, nah, it weren't me. And they've seen your camera, Got Barnet down here, like that, uh, with one leg. <laughs> weren't me, but, How yeah, much water are you talking, the one bucket? No, no, you know the black bins? Big oh, plastic big bin, bins? Yeah. About four of them. Four of them? Yeah. Wow, OK. Great question, Joel. Well, let's have a look at our next question. I don't know if we can top that. Jimmy, when you played Arsenal in, uh, against Wigan at the JJB Stadium, uh, the floodlights failed. It was rumoured you pulled someone's pants down. Your name it is, please. That's from 2028. Yeah, this, that this the night. Yeah, the, what happened? The floodlights went off. Yeah, partially. And uh, <laughs> Freddie Lundberg was there, and he was sponsored by. I well, don't think we can say it. Um, but I pulled his trunks. 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 He's wearing trunks. Short, <laughs> pulled his shorts down, yeah. and I found it really funny. Yeah. But it's quite awkward because no one really got on it, and I was like, oh, I thought it was funny, <laughs> and just walked off. <laughs> and they went, like, that's Freddie. I went, yeah, I know. That's why I done it because he's a model, and I thought he found it funny. But then afterwards, I ran off with the ball, and I tried to score. I remember that. Yeah. Because the whistle, I've always been told, played to the whistle, and it wasn't blown. <laughs> and I actually missed an open goal. <laughs> that's a true story. That all happened in about right. a minute and a half. These questions are brilliant, aren't they? They're fantastic. <laughs> Let's have a look at another one. I love this show. <laughs> hey, up, Jimmy. Brian from Stoke. Just wanted to know what the manager thought of your goal celebration that time, when you, the players cheers. He's what? just walked out of here, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> What's he did, say? Did you understand the word of that? Not, no. No, neither did I, but luckily I have it written down. Uh, what was Phil Brown's reaction to that famous... Um, Come on, let's, let's, let's applaud that. It's one of the greatest yeah, celebrations yeah. ever. <laughs> Top marks, Jimmy. Top marks for that. I've had this celebration, I've actually picked awards up, which, because it ain't about me, it's about the whole team. What happened? The year before, Phil Brand kept him out of Man City. I wasn't actually there then, but the year after, yeah. we thought, if it's an half decent result, it wouldn't have been good if we was getting drum fives, it was that. <laughs> but I scored, and we said, whoever scores the equaliser, so it could have been anyone, but I was lucky enough, I put it top corner against Shane Given. But yeah. <laughs> I come out and um, we done this, and this was like a reincarnation of that um, celebration and see the old fans. But I've got to say, even the Man City fans around the corner there, and they was standing the, the over. City fans are clapping, you loving as well. it. Yeah, it's wicked. It's wow. like best. That's still on like EA Sports and all that. Is it? So, yeah, yeah. Great stuff. Right, let's have a look at another question. These questions are brilliant, by the way. This is a question for Jimmy Bullard. Jimmy, when is the Magic Sponge podcast coming back? Oh, chance to plug. Never miss a chance to plug. <laughs> um, I've got my own podcast called The Magic Sponge, and I, I love it. And we've got um, Rob Beckett does it with me, who's a big comic with a big teeth, you know, and Ian Smith. And we just get, like, old-school players on it. It isn't like a football podcast. No, it's, it's like quality, one stories and that. So we're on our fourth series, second episode, and we just done... My last one was Barry Fry, which I've got to say was one Brilliant. of the best ones we've done. And so if you of... don't listen to it, The Magic Sponge, <laughs> get it on iTunes. Bosh. He's one of your favourite managers you worked with, you told me before, didn't you? Just because I loved him and he's like one of us. He'd just sit here and have a drink and yeah. he'd pucker. Yeah, he'd love man. He's Rob Beckett is actually on Soccer M as well, uh, tomorrow morning, just incidentally. Yeah, one of the big teeth. Yeah, he's a top man as well. Right, next question. We've got another one, Jimmy. They keep flooding in. Yo, Jimmy. Nice and simple. Uh, of all the, you know the drills, what clubs have been the best crack and are the nicest people? Ooh, that's from oh. Brooke. The best you know the drill club you've been to for Soccer AM. Got to say, I went up to Scotland, done a Celtic, and um, no, what way round was it? 
done the Rangers, and yeah. then obviously we get the calls flooding through. Got to go to Sarah. Why you done them before us? So them two clubs were amazing just to see like in in the club, it's huge clubs. But I've got to say, I went to MK Don's under Cole Robinson. Oh, was and the actual, like that? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah, yeah. The actual drill we done. Nobody remembers it. <laughs> no, I can't remember you there. <laughs> MK Don's, yeah. But what he'd done with the drill was a little bit of defending, a <laughs> little bit of attacking. I didn't know how to answer that, so I just dismissed it. So MK, MK Don. I'm sorry. It's all right, mate. I love you, really. Um, and you went to Dundee... Too many this, questions. You went to Dundee this week, which is on soccer um, tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, that weren't all that. I'm only joking. <laughs> okay. Money, Jane, bit of crack. No, it was really, um, really good. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Great. No, it was wicked. He was top man. I loved it. So passionate about the game he was yeah. and he was absolutely brilliant. Paul Hartley, loved him, fantastic club and loved his intensity and I actually pulled my quad. <laughs>